Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. Commander Lindat here with another video on DC Legends. And I'm bringing you the Super Girl Event Tips video, which was requested by one of the members of the DC Legends community on Facebook. And if you're not part of the community, guys, I would highly suggest that you go and find the group. It's called Justice League DC Legends. It's a great group, and we share tips, we talk about frustrations, we share successes. It's a, it's a great community, guys, and I would highly recommend that you become a part of it if you're not. Now, this video is mostly personal opinion. Actually, all of it is personal opinion, to be honest with you. And I'm going to tell you what I think are the best options or what I think is the best path to be able to beat the Supergirl event. And we're going to talk about it, so let's go ahead and get it into it right now. This event is going to be running for a week and two days, so we have a week and one day left. And as you can see, well, let's go back to the first node. When you go into it, you can only choose from a very specific pool of characters, and you have several requirements. This one in particular is a team of four heroes. Every series, um, every node actually requires you to have four heroes. You can't use any less than that. I just tried it when I, this is the second shoot of this video. So anyway, you have to use the heroes that are shown down here, and that's it. You can't use any more. And like I said, as you go up, you'll notice that the requirements go up. I'm sorry, I'm gonna refresh this on that one because the first shoot that I did of this video, that's the one that I played. So it's, we're gonna play the 10 one. But I want you to see, okay, I'm out of energy, that's not good. Let's go ahead and buy some energy real quick. I need it anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. And as you can see, when you go here now, now we have rank three heroes, the previous one was rank two. So as you go up, the requirements go up and finally when I get to the one that I was trying to try and do tonight is gonna be rank 5 heroes so that that's I was not able to do it because I don't have four of these heroes that are required here at rank 4 so that was very sad but anyway let me give you my tips on it so that we can do this so let's go back to the first note which is the one I'm going to demonstrate in this video and I have two tips I'll have the one for the free to pay, uh, free to play uh, player. For some reason, I cannot say that even in a second shoot. And I would suggest that you use Supergirl as your leader because her leadership ability, which has minus 20% critical damage on all the enemy team, is great to add survivability to your team. So if you have a low level team or not very uh, not geared up, then that would definitely help you out a lot. I would highly suggest you use Huntress because she's a very high DPS hero. And I would also suggest if you got Hot Girl from the PvP tournament that just ended last week, I would also suggest, actually this Monday, I would also suggest that you use her because if you have invested in her and I haven't yet because I've been doing some other heroes, then her stuns are very valuable for this mission. And that way you can you can get more turns in. Um, also another free to, um, to play character, Deadshot. He's a great DPS from the get-go. Mine is... I stopped working on him very early on and he's not very leveled up and but he is he does great work and you're gonna see that in this video green arrow as well is a very very good character for this mission and as you can see you also get um, in this one you get an, an, a bonus I'm sorry for fire summon the flash the one that I played in the first shoot of this video you actually got one for GL uh, GA for green arrow so if you're a paid player and I'm not really a paid player even though I have invested some money um, was able to get Firestorm because of, of the generosity of one of the subscribers who um, was a, gave me an iTunes card and I really really appreciate that. So I bought Firestorm. He's great for his shields and Supergirl's leadership ability helps his shields just last a lot, whole lot longer and her hit, hit, um, heat vision, critical chance down debuff also helps him out with that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and form the team and I'm just going to use Characters that everybody should be able to have. I'm gonna use the Flash because I get I get a um, bonus for him, and then I'm going to bring in. I'm actually gonna bring in Deadshot because again, everybody gets him at three stars. And if you haven't invested in him, you should just go ahead and don't take him all the way, but just gear him up maybe to like four, gear three or four, and level him up a little bit, and he should be okay. So let's go ahead and get into it, and we'll talk about the team as we go along. All right, so we're in the battle now. And so the first thing obviously here you wanna do, you wanna use the red streak for the flash, you give him speed up. You wanna use birds of prey for Huntress. You wanna use also here for Deadshot, his ability. 
Now, they have the advantage, the affinity advantage here, so what I normally do is that I use Supergirl's uh, buff to give affinity resistance up to everybody, and that way, we, again, we take less damage. Now, let's go ahead with the Flash. We have two options. We can use um, Speed Punch, or we can use Speed Force Vortex, whichever one. Normally, I just use the Vortex. This is the one that does the more damage. Now, my Flash is not ranked up at all, so he doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But if you haven't geared up and, and leveled up, then he's definitely going to do a whole lot more damage than what you just saw. And then, with that shot, I normally then go ahead and use his Snipe ability, and that takes out an enemy usually. And then, with uh, Supergirl, I use Heat Vision to uh, put that you know crit chance down on the enemies and that way I'm sure that if they hit you know that they have less likelihood to hit me for a critical hit to give me to land a critical hit and I'm sorry guys I'm having a lot of trouble speaking tonight for some reason and as you can see we're done with the first wave now you can see my supergirl is already at legendary so I'm not gonna use boulder slam simply because that's the first legendary ability that I took to legendary so I'm not gonna do that because it applies 10 uh, critical down to the whole team, so I don't want to. I don't want to take advantage of it right now because again, most people don't have her at legendary. So, and I, here again, as you can see, this is more of a you know, rain slather repeat type of thing. So I've been using the same moves over and over again, pretty much in the same order that I used them the first time. And as you can see, the enemies are going down very, very easily. The only character here, guys, that is really ranked up and geared up. Pretty much all the way she's at gear six right now is Huntress. Everybody else is pretty much stock. You know, the, the, the Supergirl thing is like a gear three. Dead shot on the Flash. The Flash is probably a gear two, if that, and, and Dead shot as well. So, as you can see, I'm having no problem here, even with uh, mo most of my characters are actually being low level and low gear level also. And I'm having no issue with this fight. Now, what I will tell you guys before I finish this video is that you should only do these once. And you're gonna see when I collect my rewards why, because I thought that you got, like the first time you do the first stage, you get 10. And then the second stage, you got 15, and then 25, and then it, it goes up like that. So, I really, really thought that as you went up, and that you were able, you know, I'm sorry, once you cleared it and you were able to do it again, that you would at least get like 5, 10, 15. But as you can see, I only got one. So my 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 opinion, not not worth it at all. Just do it the first time. You get those big big rewards because you get willpower as well. You get five, fifteen, and so on. It's five, ten, fifteen, and so on and so forth. So definitely do it one time for the first time rewards, and then leave the event alone because it's not worth the energy that you're putting into it. It's not worth your Thankfully, you don't have to use gems to refresh, but it really, I don't think it's worth, you know, you having to, to to use all that energy just to get one, two, three fragments for Supergirl. So, anyway, those are my thoughts on it. Those are some of the strategies that I used, um, guys, and I hope that this was a helpful video. If it was, feel free to give it a thumbs up as that helps out the channel a great deal. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on all the great content that I'm going to be bringing in the days ahead. And as always, guys, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. See ya.